Hello everybody and welcome to this new video. In this video I'm gonna show you some footage, some b-roll I got a few days ago from a shoot. I was on a shoot with Christopher and Toby. You probably know both because I've went on shoots with them a couple of times already and I have made a video with Toby quite often before. Uh, I actually just came here to get the b-roll you just saw so that I have a nice intro for the video. At least I hope it's gonna be nice. And yeah, I just wanted to show you some behind the scenes footage of the shoot a few days ago. And also at the end of the video I'll be showing you how I edited one of the pictures we got. I don't know which one yet, but it's going to be my favourite. I haven't chosen it yet. Uh, but I'm going to show you how I edited it so that you get the gist on how you can make your picture look similarly to that. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Flashback to a few days ago. Dude, how do your vloggers hold their Canon DSLRs? I'm already struggling with this tiny Lumix camera. Hello everybody, I'm right here in the middle of nowhere it looks like. It's just one road here and a lot of woods. I'm just here for a spontaneous shoot with Toby and Christoph. You might know them from previous videos. And just to change things up, um, I'm actually on time right now and Toby and Christoph are, well, delayed or I don't know where they are, just they're not here yet, I'm still waiting for them and I'll be getting some footage of the shoot and showing you the photos, at least the ones I like and yeah, let's start off with some more b-roll How's this you cool out? Ganz ehrlich Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I suppose I got a little focused on the photography, so I kind of forgot on B-roll, so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I don't have any more footage. Uh, well then, here are the pictures. So I hope you like the pictures and next we are going to edit this picture from this to this in just a few minutes in Lightroom Mobile as usual. So let's jump straight into Lightroom. So guys now we are here in Lightroom and now let's get straight into the editing. First we're going to crop this picture to 4x5 for the typical Instagram size or for in my opinion the best Instagram size, the biggest size you can use in Instagram. Well, crop it like this and we might tilt this picture a little bit crop in a little bit more just so that these guys are perfectly on the rule of thirds that looks fine so then let's get right into the exposure uh, this picture as you can see is still much too dark so we gotta pump up the exposure a lot well, okay, that's too much. Um, yeah, that, that looks good, that looks much better. Have a look at this difference. It's much brighter now, that looks much better. And yeah, as usual, I'm not gonna touch contrast and go straight on to the highlights. And those, we gotta crush a little. Yeah, minus 50, that's fine. And the shadows, well, I know it's often said that this is a beginner's mistake, but I think plus 100 that is fine, because I'm going to get the shadows back in the curves anyway to get the extra contrast, 
So uh, let's just keep it at plus 100, that's fine. So we want to get some nice white in this picture, because white can just look like it makes the whole picture a little sharper in my opinion, and you it just makes the two objects, in this case the two models, pop much more. So we'll definitely keep this high, like at plus 60 as I did now, that should be fine. And the blacks will just do a subtle change, plus 10, that should be fine. So let's move straight on to the curves. These we shall change as usual with my S-curve, well not my S-curve, but the S-curve which most editors normally use, or most photographers normally use for editing. Uh, yeah, that's, that's fine for the highlights and the shadows. So you don't want to overdo it, because as you can see this now looks really bad. But we've got, we want some nice contrast, so... Is that... let me see. Let me analyze this a little. Yeah, maybe a little more. I have a very punchy style that has like real strong contrast normally, so... It might be much too much for your taste. I, I've got a friend, he might be watching this video right now. He told me already that this editing style is much too strong for him. I'm loving it. <laughs> so, uh, I think that should be... now. Nah, that's too little contrast. <laughs> um, you know, you always have to take your time when you're in the curves, because the this is really a lot of tweaking here in the curves to get it just right. And so here, I'm especially looking at the tree in the middle. It's just much too dark now. But look at those trousers of Christopher on the right side with the nice contrast, it just looks so much better already. And let's pump up the blacks for the faded look, because I'm liking that as well. Uh, yeah, that's good. So, actually, that's pretty much it already. We'll do some little more tiny tweaks, but if you look at the before and after, just, just changing the exposure and the curves already makes a humongous difference. This looks so much better. Uh, but we're gonna go to split toning and gonna change the highlights. We shall move this around here. Yeah, like there. And then go down with the saturation. This is very important when split toning. You mustn't have too much saturation on whatever you effect you have right there because that's gonna look horrible. For example, this looks... Yeah, I can't really describe it in another way than saying that it just looks bad. Uh, but just to have these subtle changes by having just a little bit like... Yeah, no, saturation on 8, that's, that's more than enough. Well, not more than enough, that's just enough for the little change. That's fine. And... So yeah, here in the exposure, I think we've got everything right. So I think that's fine. Temperature, we'll have a little more temperature. And now we're going to work on the colors. That's one part I really like working on when editing my pictures. And as you can see, the yellow sweater of Toby on the left-hand side of the picture needs to pop a little more. But we don't want to do this, because this looks completely unnatural. I mean, this picture might already look unnatural to some of you, but I like it this way. And we got to make that yellow pop a little more. And also we can add some luminance. Next are the greens. We want to crush the greens a little, because we don't want the greens to distract from the nice yellow and the grey-beige colours of Christoph on the right side. So we'll bring the greens down to... yeah, that's fine. And also their luminance. Further, 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 further. Yeah, that should be fine. Just so that the green gets darker as well, so that the foreground is bright and the background is dark, which is very important for especially portraits and photos like these where you're trying to show something which is in the foreground. And next we shall edit some of the blues. Just go down. 20, I think, on both, that should be fine. Because there aren't many blue things in this picture, actually. I'm specifically just editing the jeans, they popped a little too much in my opinion. But this is fine now. And... Yeah, I think that, that's it. Uh, I don't really have much more to do with this picture. We don't want any clarity, vignetting, or... Oh, 
I've, by the way, finally found out what this effect is called in English. At least I think I know what it's called. Dehaze, I think it's called. Um, here in, in, my, in my version, German version of Lightroom is called Dunst Entfernen, and I never knew how to call it when I'm speaking English, but uh, I think I have found out that it's called Dehaze. <laughs> so in future edits, I hope I shall remember to say Dehaze. But today we're not going to use those effects, and yeah, here we don't need to change the saturation, it's fine already. If not oversaturated, but I think that's okay. And exposure's fine. Yeah, that, that's it actually for this edit. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. I hope you liked this format of having some vlogging and at the end uh, a little edit. Um, yeah, don't have really any more to say. I hope you liked the pictures, the shoots, and the whole video. Uh, I know it might have been a little chaotic because I had random footage here and there, but I hope you still liked it. So uh, yeah, see you next time.